Welcome back to the channel. This is my video showing you the top 12 finalists of the Battle of the Builders at Cinema Show 2019 on Wednesday, November 6, 2019. So let's join the proceedings at the announcements. Hey everybody, Chris Kirsten, President and CEO of SEMA. Good to have you all here. I think most of you were probably here yesterday, but for those who weren't, I just want to take a minute to say thanks to all of you guys for and women for participating in our Battle of Builders. And uh, we're really excited. This is the moment that we begin to winnow down, right? Uh, this is our announcement of the top 12. So without further ado, I'm going to bring Ira Gabriel up here. As you guys know, Ira works really hard to help make this program happen, and he's going to give you some program details. So Ira, come on up. Welcome, everybody. Congratulations for being here. Happy 2019 SEMA for everybody. So a couple of things. In a couple of moments, I'm going to bring up Brian Loans, the host of the NHRA, who's going to be reading off and announcing our top 12. If you are called as a top 12, please come up to the stage. Please walk up to the stage. Please begin to assemble this way, as I'm demonstrating right now. When we're done, we're going to send you off to the stage here. And we're just kind of like going to collect some additional information uh, about you and about some things that will be very, very quick. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for being here at the 2019 SEMA show. And the voice of the NHRA, Brian Loans. Thank you very much, Ira. So, a, uh, lots of hopes and dreams in my hand here. And uh, just as a car guy, as a gearhead, as a fan of uh, SEMA and everything that goes on here, the 300 of you that started in this process. Uh, all 300 entries had their own personalities that had their own backstories. We cut that down to 40 yesterday, and uh, the judges have had a very difficult job taking that 40 and turning it in to the 12 finalists that uh, we're going to talk about right now. So all of you standing here have done something amazing. Whether it's the first time you've been in the top 40, whether it's the third or fourth time you've been in the top 40, you are among a very elite group of people, artisans and craftsmen and craftswomen, that are here to kind of show off the best in the world. So before we give the top 12, everybody that made the top 40, a round of applause for yourself. You, you heard, there's something very special here, and you're on the right trajectory. We're gonna start with the Young Guns. So our three entries in the Young Guns, starting with Brad Sweeney in his 1971 Chevrolet C10. Brad, come on up to the stage. Next up, will be Kyle Ray and his 1988 BMW E30. Right this way, Brett. Kyle's making his way up as well. The final member of the Young Guns Top 3, Luke Merrill and his 1940 Chevrolet Tudor. So if this Top 12 represents kind of the present and the future of hot rodding, there's your future right there. Your three finalists in the Young Guns, let's hear it for that. Now we move into the Sport Compact air, uh, arena here, and this is an incredibly eclectic group of cars that were chosen in Sport Compact. The first one, Edison Sarkeesian, the 1955 Porsche 550 Spider. Porsche 550 Spider. The second entry here is a, an amazing automobile, many of which of you probably have never heard of this make and model. Louis Chefchik's 1968 Iso Rivolta. Beautiful Italian car, you need to find it and, and check that car out, it is, uh, it is stunning. And finally, the last entry in the Sport Compact category, TJ Russell and his 1991 Porsche 911. Those are your three entries in the Sport Compact category. Now we move to truck and off-road in a 1972 Chevrolet C10 short bed owned by Darren Smith, or built by Darren Smith. <laughs> Sticking along with the 1972 theme, the 1972 Ford Bronco of Eric Barnlund. Congratulations to Eric and our final entry in truck and off-road, Randy Borschertings 1955 Chevrolet pickup truck. And finally, the hot rod category. This is the uh, this is the deep end of the pool right here for sure. 
We start out with Eric Peratt's 1936 Ford Roadster. We move on to a 1932 Ford Phantom owned by Gary Corkle. Oh Gorgeous car with a DeSoto Hemi in it. Got to check that car out this morning. And the final entry of the 2019 Battle of the Builders Top 12, a 1969 Camaro built by the Ring Brothers, Mike and Jim Ray. So we have our top 12 here on the stage. One more rousing ovation for these hot riders who are vying for the most elite honors in the world of high performance. Why don't we like make a row and a half of you guys so we can get a nice group photo up here. Why don't you guys kind of collapse into yourself, make two rows. Beautiful. I'll bring Ira Gabriel back up on stage just to go through any final housekeeping details. Congratulations again to everybody that made the top 12 and the top 40. Congratulations again, everyone. If you have an opportunity, take a look at some of these beautiful builds that are here. We have our young guns that are over here. We have many of the exhibitors that are featuring many of the vehicles. And for those that are interested, next year in the program, Battle of the Builders, SEMAshow.com forward slash BOTB. On behalf of all of us at SEMA, welcome to the 2019 SEMA Show, and thank you. Thanks for checking out the video and make sure you check out the other SEMA 2019 videos on my YouTube channel looking for the SEMA 2019 playlist. Thanks for watching.